big fan of your books. Your books are awesome. With fans like these, you could excuse Jeff Kinney for an out-of-control ego. I'm your biggest fan. Excellent. I am happy to hear that. Especially when you add up his numbers. More than 15 million books in print in the U.S. alone. Can I actually sign this? That is very cool, man. What grade are you in? But Kinney is a pretty normal guy. Actually, strike that. He's much nicer than a normal guy. It's like God said, uh, you know, you can be famous, and it's going to be with fifth grade boys. <laughs> it's like, well, how's that deal working it's out? It's working you? out great. I love it. Those are my people. They're who he writes about in his best selling Diary of a Wimpy Kid series, featuring middle schooler Greg Hefley, told through a mashup of text and cartoons by a 38 year old man. It's true. I, I can really put myself back into that mindset. Did that really happen? To you? No, it's made up. Greg is fictional, though Kinney does borrow from his own life, like hiding from swim practice in a bathroom stall and being tricked by his older brother. My older brother actually told me that I had slept through all of summer vacation, but that luckily I had woken up just in time for the first day of school. Hi, guys. It's all designed to make sure girls and boys at that most awkward and vulnerable stage of life know they're not alone. I say to kids in middle school, you know, this is not going to be the best time of your life. Just try to survive it. Some universal truths now expressed in 29 languages, more or less. That translates to Greg's journal, I'm Surrounded by Idiots, which I love as a title. But they, you know, they told us we can't come up with a, a book that's called Diary of a Wimpy Kid in our country because there is no word for wimp in, in German. For a guy with a big time Hollywood movie deal, they're conducting online auditions right now. <coughs> Jeff Kinney isn't letting success go to his head or his address. He and his family live in a small town called, of all things, Plainville. And he's kept his day job as a web designer. So that I can, you know, kind of keep my head on straight and, and not take this too seriously. Jeff Kinney. I love your books. Using his inner boy to produce some grown-up success. Jim Axelrod, CBS News. Nice to meet you. Plainville, Massachusetts.